you are doing a huge, 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 and when I say huge, I mean huge, math test. When you come across your enemy in math, or maybe out of everything, but your enemy it is big numbers times a bigger number. And you're thinking in your head, what do I do to befriend this foe? I'm gonna fail, right? I'm gonna get bad grades, and then I'm gonna get grounded. Well, let me tell you one thing. Is all this going to happen? I will answer that. Yes, it will happen. If you do not watch this video. And no, I'll make sure it won't happen, or maybe I won't, but I'll try to make sure it doesn't happen if you watch this video. So. The double half strategy is a strategy that will help you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And let me show you what the title looks like. Double half strategy. My awesome, 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 awesome bird is watching me do double half strategy. Okay. Anyways. Double half strategy is a strategy that will help you do two things when multiplying big numbers. So, it will double one number, half the other number, and it helps you a ton, and I mean it, it helps you a ton if you're not good by multiplying a big number time, a, a, times a number that's about the same size. This, this will be a little bit easier, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to do it. Our first number will be 17 times 26. Now, 17 times 26, I will half, no, I will double 17, I'm sorry. I will double 17, and that would equal 34. And then I will, sorry, I think, uh, when I, I'll tell you why I doubled 17 first. I doubled 17 because doubling 17 is way easier than having to half it. And half being 26 is way easier than having to double it. So my 26, I am going to half, like I said, which will become a 13. And I'll make this a little bigger so you can see. Let me see. That's what happens. Just write it down like this, and hopefully you'll understand. That's what you get. And so I'm going to just get ready so I can answer this for you. I'm sorry. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Let me entertain you for while I'm doing this. Okay, I'm done entertaining. I thought that would work. So I got. 34 times 13. Now I'm sorry, I need your help with this. 34 times 13 equals. I need your help. So we'll do it the traditional way, but maybe it will just be a little easier for you. So 3 times 4 is. You can tell me. 12. Yes. So I put my 2 there. And my one up here. Three times three is nine. Plus one is ten. So now that I don't have any room, I'll just put it right here. So that's one oh two. Now this is easy because it's one times yeah. So see now the numbers a little bit smaller. It's easier to kind of understand. So I'm gonna. Um, 1 times 4 is, oh no, it's so hard, what is 1 times 4, sorry, that's, 1 times 4 is 4, oh my goodness, and 1 times 3 is 3, oh my goodness, I never knew that, did you? Oh good, you knew it. Now I'm going to add these two together, which gives me 2, Four, three, four. So the answer to 17 times 26 is 442. 
Now, it would be the exact same if I did the traditional way with 17 times 26. So, 17 times 26 equals 442. I'm going to continue so you get the use to how it goes, just so you know what to do, okay? So, I'm going to go to our next page. Now I have a new little birdie friend watching me. Isn't that great? My little new birdie friend. So our next one will be, our next question, sorry, is 8 times 29. So yes, this is different. And just let me do something. Okay. Got 8 times 29. So we, okay, I forgot to tell you that. We can also do it with one digit numbers just in case you want it to be a little bit easier. But let's see, 8 times 29 equals, so I'll double 29, which gives me 58. So, I now have 58. And, you know, I have a, oh, who knows what the half of 8 is. Yes, 4. So 58 times 4. That is pretty easy. Is that what you're trying to tell me? What? You want to do that? That's too easy. Ha 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 ha. Well, for some of you it is. So, I, the answer for this would be... Mm -hmm, two. I'll put three up there. And then five. Wait, was it five? Oh no, that's a three. It's three, sorry. Three. Um, and two. So, I got it. Eight times twenty nine is two hundred and thirty two. You see? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And it will help you if you don't like doing. 8 times 29, and you rather do 58 times 4. Mm-hmm. My next one will be 15 times 22. So I'm just going to get ready. Sorry. Okay. So 15 times 22. 15 times 22, which I have said a lot. Now, if I double 15 because I am, I get 30. So I'm going to write 30 down. 30. And if I have 22, I get 11. You know, let me tell you something. Multiplying by 11 is easy, squeezy, lemon peasy. So, 11 times 30 equals, I will get to that, and then we have zero in here, which makes it also very, very easy. So I get two zeros, because zero times one is zero, and zero times one is zero. Oh, so easy. And then I have to add another zero here, and three times one, easy. I could just do three times up. So, yeah, it's really easy. 33 plus a zero at the end is 330. So, that's the answer. It's the same answer I would have gotten if I did 15 times 22. Easy. Very, 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 very easy. I can tell you that. So I'm going to go to the next page. I still say bye to my little bird. Bye bye. And we will go to the next page. The next page. Let's see. I have a little falcon or hawk or yeah, whatever here. I forget what he really is. <laughs> okay. So, 35 times 18. What is the half? Of 18. That is very easy for most people. It is 9. And what is the double of 35? It's 70. Okay. 
Okay, so 70 it is. And then we are going to take that 70 and that 9, and we are going to do 70 times 9, which equals, yeah, I think I'm right. Sorry, I was about to say something. Wait, you know what we can do? just do? Since it's 70 times 9, we can just do 7 times 9. Shouldn't have even started with the 70 times 9. So, 7 times 9 equals, mm, you can tell me, 63. And we're going to have to add a 0, because I didn't put the 0 on 7. Add a 0, and the answer, 35 times 18 is, sorry, I'll just erase this. The answer to that is 630. Yay! Yay us! We are so intelligent, aren't we? Yay, we're so intelligent. I like being intelligent, don't you? I think we all like being intelligent. Okay. So. We're going to start. 4 times 19 is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Because. Probably not as easy as some of them. But it will be fairly easy. Because 4 becomes 2 if any of you did not know that. And 19 becomes 38. So you can do two times something. That will be easy, won't it? I hope it will. But 38 times two. It's like 38 plus 38, so you should be able to do this. Eight plus eight is 16, so I'll put this, wait. Yeah, 8 plus 8 is 16. Put that there. And 1 up here. But then, 2 times 3 is 6, plus that 1 is 7. So, I get 76. Same, like I've said before. It would have been exact same if I had done 4 times 19. If I had done 4 times 19, 76 would be my answer. Okay, next one is... With my little parrot macaw thingy, right? Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to do it with him. Yay! This part where you all go, yay, 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 yay. I hope you do. Anyways, we're going to do it. Now we have 14 times 55. 14 turns into a 7. Because I'm going to have him. And 55 turns into 110. Seven times one hundred ten or one hundred and ten. Sorry, times seven equals. So I'll get a zero here. And since they're ones, seven seven. So seven hundred and seventy is my answer. And it'd be the same if I had done fourteen times fifty five, so yay. I like writing my answers big up here. It's fun. <laughs> now my next one is going to be 5 times 16. So another, actually, this is really easy. If you undo this, like right here, you get an 8. I'm going to do you get 8. And you, I will, you become a 10. So, this is really easy. If you know your 10 times tables, you don't even cross out the 0, times it, and you get 8. So, 1 times 8 equals 8. And then I have to glue that 0 right here. So, you might be learning a couple other strategies you didn't know while I'm teaching you this one. Okay? 
So let's say thank you at Mr. Macaw, Parrot, Doom, whatever. See you later. And we're going to... Oh, that was our last ones. So thank you for watching the video. And if you still want to do some more, I have a question for you. Um, well, the duck does. Duckling. <laughs> My little duckling wants to know if any of you, yes, any of you, knows the answer to 45 times 18. Please comment the answer on my blog, just for me. Thank you for watching. And you're welcome for making this video. So, yes, thank you.